Okay guys, today's a big day. Uh, Kevin's S10's done and uh, his dad's here. Uh, they're gonna load it in the trailer and we're all gonna go to Arizona for the Pro Touring Truck Shootout. So I uh, figured I'd just do a, a quick walk around uh, before we load it in the trailer. It's been here a few months. Um, there was a couple main things that it came here for. One was the cage uh, for more safety and some chassis rigidity. And then we did aero and we did pedals. So we did the pet tilt and pedal assembly um, to put his feet in a more ergonomic position. And uh, that stuff worked out honestly really well. When we first got this truck, we were concerned with how much lack of room there was on the firewall. Um, and really, as with anything we do here, it came down to a, a whole lot more work, but ended up being totally worth it. Um, it's something that Kevin and, and me and Dylan and everybody involved are, are pretty proud of, but uh, we had to pull the cab, you know, pull the front end sheet and then I'll pull the cab and, and this entire part of the firewall got, got all cut out and we redid all the sheet metal, reinforced the inside of the firewall. And then we did the Tilton Masters, Tilton Pedals, Tilton uh, Remote Reservoir. And then we put um, a remote bias adjuster on the dash. And then we put a uh, adjustable proportioning valve down here uh, in the engine bay. So you can still change the timing of the rear brake under uh, under high, high effort braking. So then we put a chromoly column in it, um, inch and a quarter column to lighten lighten that up and we built a intermediate steering shaft um, we built all the um, all the cage in the front and all the cage in the back to where it's all removable so Kevin and, and his family can still pull the, the whole truck apart um, if need be so if they need to do anything to the chassis or whatever you know that they, they can pull this whole truck apart still so um, uh, we had these six bolt flanges machined for us and and we welded them and, and we made some pods that we welded to the frame rails um, in the front and to the back so that they've got 5 16 fine thread um, nuts welded inside those pods so the whole cage can can be unbolted and uh, you know it pops through the firewall there and we welded the firewall around it and then all the cage is 095 inch and three quarter 095 but these spuds and then the dash bar and then the uh, the, the gussets you know for those front bars are all 120 wall um, since there's so much energy from the front suspension, you know, it's trying to twist the frame. So that stuff is, is 120 wall, so it can't tweak. Um, pulled the, the cab, the cab mounts off the bottom of the cab. So the sheet metal, um, drilled all the spot welds out, pulled them off, um, dropped the cage down through the floor. Um, you know, TIG welded the entire cage, lifted it all back up um put plates underneath the cage inside welded all that up and then we reinforce inside the cab mounts you know on the bottom of the cab so all that stuff is you know is solid all the way through but yeah you can see here's our plates you know we kind of blended the blue in and uh even the door bars we gusseted you know the door bars um we cut the cut the inner sheet metal out of the back of the cab so that we could move the harness bar, you know, back as far as possible. So now really Kevin, the pedals, the steering wheel, everything's probably back an inch and a half from where it was. So also helps weight distribution. Also, like I said, the rear cage is removable. Um, this is the frame now. So the, we built these seven gauge pods up off the top of the frame and uh, cut holes in the bed floor. So the rear cage can be removed. And then uh, the most obvious thing here is this giant wing, Nine Lives Racing. Um, they made us a 70 inch wing. We got a three quarter inch gurney flap. And then uh, we designed the uprights and then they um, CNC routered the, the uprights and then we handmade uh, all the rest of that stuff. So it's tied to the chassis in the back, sets on top of the gate, you know, back here. And then we built these chromoly you know, tubes that, that hold all this thing. So it can't rack back and forth and, and it can't, you know, pull back. So anyway, super pumped on this truck. Thank you, Kevin, so much for um, trusting us, bringing this thing 40 hours away from your house, <laughs> leaving it with us for months and, and then entrusting us to do so much more with it than, than we originally anticipated. So huge props to all of our, all of our customers, all of our friends, all of our 
um, supporting companies, y'all guys um, make everything so fun. So anyways, uh, let's head to uh, Pro Touring Truck Shootout in Arizona. See y'all hey there. everybody, we're at Pro Touring Truck Shootout West. And uh, we're going to take a walk out here and look at the Speed Stop Challenge. Um, Kevin Phillips is out here in his S10. He's going to make a couple runs. We're going to pay attention to Olaf and see how he's doing in his OBS. And uh, our friends from Louisiana, they're down here. So stay tuned as we watch a few runs. He needs to speed up. He was a uh, 12-2 is his fastest, and he's second place, so he needs to get faster than that. Problem is, is we're after lunch right now, and the, the track's hot. His tires are hot, brakes are hot. We'll see how he does. 